Welcome to GDP's Physics and Simulation 2 2020. My name is Felipe Bellini and this is a video demonstration of Project 3, addressing the classes lecture by James Lucas at Fenshaw College. Project 3 is about physics swapping. In Project 2, we've implemented our own physics systems. Now we're swapping that with Bullet Engine without changing the core interfaces linking those two separate systems. With this in mind, let's take a look at the layout of these two projects. Project 2 relied on the idea of creating a custom physics system that uses interfaces to pass information around. Project 3 continues on the scope of Project 2 but now wrapping on top of bullet physics. This means that instead of manually integrating, checking for collisions, and then applying the collision responses, we're internally just calling the step simulation on bullet physics world, and the rest should be taken care of by the engine itself. Let's see the, how that works. In this solution, we have two separate projects that generate two separate assemblies. These contains the physics systems isolated from one another, which is bellengine.physics.bullet and bellengine.physics.custom. After Project 3, our pilot game becomes capable of using both of these physics engines without changes to the actual game code. All we have to do for that is to use the configuration file to set the active physics engine. Navigate to Game Assets Config Game Config for that. Game Assets Config in this file game.cfg. So configuration file should look like this. We have a few tags here for the physics options and then there's one here for physics engine. We can swap this value between 0 and 1. 0 being our custom physics and 1 being the bullet based physics. By default this will start with 0 which is the custom physics. Let's take a look at our game. Go into the solution, running the game. Here we have it. The ball is colliding, just like in Project 2. Spheres. I'm going to select one of these spheres just to move them around, assigning the controls to game objects, pressing F1 again to return the controls to the game, and then using the WASD keys to apply forces. Here we have it. That's the red ball moving around. Okay, let's um, change it to bullet physics then. So for bullet physics we should uh, just change this value here to 1 and then our physics system should be swapped already. We can see here in the console that it's already using Bell Engine Physics Bullet .dll. so this is already the simulation that's using um, that's using Bullet. I'm going to approach, press F1. I'm going to select one select one of the game objects. Um, this is the same one that 
um, I used in the first simulation. Press F1 again, and then use the WASD keys to apply force. As you can see, the ball is moving. Applying force. Balls are colliding. You can see that behavior is very different from the other engine, from the custom engine. Balls are colliding. Use the glass. Great. For more information, contact James Lucas, the head professor for this course, or Felipe Bellini, the developer behind it. Thank you.